Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Good times for all here, Zachary Zabala if you prefer. Um, I've been playing with the generator here a lot lately. And I've uh, been trying out new stuff. Um, I'm not going to show you, there's so much stuff I want to show you, but we're going to do it one by one in the videos. I'm not going to make a real long video with all the stuff. But uh, this one I thought was really interesting. I just found this one out. And um, I figured I'd share it with you. So what I have here is just some pie plates, the squares, aluminum foil. The bottom one I have a hole in just so I can rest it on this. And uh, it gives it so it doesn't go falling off. Now what I found is the way that they're shaped, depending on if it's set this way, then all the, just like the sphere, all the energy is equally going out like this. But if you invert it and you were to have a, uh, I was trying to find a good metal bowl. But if you had a good metal bowl, especially one that came in a little bit, what it does, it, it makes it so the electric field on the inside the closer it is to the hole being closed, the closer that is to being zero, the electric field. So inside of a sphere, a hollow sphere, there is no electric field. I.e. there would be no gravity because there would be no mass in physics. But, um, so that's how... And it's really neat because this demonstration I'm about to show you will kind of, it'll, it'll demonstrate what I'm saying. I don't want to say prove because I don't like that word. So here I have it um, demonstrating kind of like a spherical, you know, the, uh, you're on the outside of the sphere. And as soon as I, ooh, I got to get this off my lap. That woke me up. As soon as I start cranking it, just one by one, it doesn't take many cranks. Now what's happening is induction again. You're getting... You're getting... The uh, electrons... You're getting a positive charge, we'll say. I like to use that term. You're getting the positive charge to reach out as far as it can, and the top shield is then becoming more positive charged than the shield beneath it. So, well, they're both positively charged. But it'll start to rise up off of it and push itself away. Because it's a positive and a positive. Now, the really interesting part that I found that I didn't think was going to happen because it's not really a sphere. But when you set it on this way, I mean, we can even make sure that I kind of crunched them down there, but that was just to get it to set. I just want to show you on that. And as you start to crank it, you can see them levitate a little bit, but they don't want to leave. Hold on. Ooh. Add a little bite to it. Yeah, as long as there's no current, I mean, it zaps you a little bit, but I get a lot of it at work. I don't know if I'm getting immune to it, but I get a lot bigger shocks than this at work all the time. There's just a lot of static electricity around in. But anyway, back to this, it, um, you'll see the top one start to float. And you can hear it. You can hear the electricity from them touching and... But it won't jump off. I can even get cranking, you know, pretty good. And the other, the other way, it only takes a couple cranks. Now, this thing is really charged. Um, you'll be able to see it when I go to... Look at that.
Uh, it's hard to do with that many of them on there. When you put just the one on there. Come on, baby. You can get it to move. Because this is a negative and that's the positive, so it's attracted to it. And it's trying to follow it. They call that snake charming. And then zap. Not much. But that's it, folks. Just a demonstration on how it could be the same shape, just a different way. You know what I'm saying? When it's like this, it's like a sphere. The electricity all wants to go out. And when it's like this, it's like a sphere, but on the inside, all the electricity... I don't know how, how it gets to zero. I'm still not... It doesn't make sense to me, but... Maybe that's where the negative hangs out. So all the electricity would be on the outside of this still. So it's all trying to go this way. And so the negative, it's just negative on the inside. It's not, I don't know. I don't know. They do it with math and this and that and say, I don't know, but... We're going to do some experimentation and find out. I'm looking into getting some... Trying to get some high quality voltage meters and stuff like that. So it should be fun. But I'm playing around a lot and um, I got a lot more stuff to share with you guys. So this is Good Times for All signing out. And as always, uh, thanks for watching.